Welcome to Zurich. I'm checked in now here in my hotel. So I'm staying at, I don't know how to pronounce this, the Market Geza Hotel, maybe? Um, it's just right in the center of the old town here in Zurich. So I've gotten dressed really quickly. I am an outfit repeater this whole entire trip. Uh, so please excuse me for that. And then you might have noticed from the title of this video why we're here in Zurich. So we're here in Zurich because I got a phone call from Rolex to go pick up my watch. It's my first ever Rolex. I am really, really excited for this watch and it's the exact watch that I've been wanting. So now that we're dressed, now that we're ready, let's go. All right, everybody, it is pissing down right here to be very mild about it in Zurich. But it's a very cute city. It's my first time here. I just wanted to have a drink at a bar, a hotel bar, I think. It was really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make my way back to my hotel. I'm ready for a hot shower and a hot cup of tea. So let's reconvene there. Welcome back. We're here back in the hotel room. Did a little walk around, had a bit of a drink. Now I'm a little bit drunk and I made myself a tea in the reception area. They don't have kettles and coffee and that kind of stuff in the room. You can see like how small the room is. I can't quite touch it if I were to put my arms across, but it's like maybe the width of two me's. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's fine. Listen, it's fine. We're just here for one night, so it's totally fine. They were even kind enough to give me an upgrade. So this is my upgraded room, just so you know. <laughs> can only imagine what the original room would have looked like. So I have my cup of tea here. I made myself an Earl Grey. Not bad, it's okay. Probably should have put two, uh, two tea bags in it, to be honest. I feel like whenever I leave Ireland, <laughs> the tea is just so much weaker. I think that's the curse of being spoiled with some good tea in Ireland and the UK. Um, so yeah, I think this should have been two tea bags, but it'll do. I'm gonna have to show you the view from my room. I mean, it's super relaxing. It's super nice. I'm gonna have a fantastic night's sleep tonight, but it does mean that it's really challenging to do some sightseeing right now because it's pissing down raining. So yeah, I think a bit of just me time here in the room. This could be a really good chance for me to just start editing some of my videos, catch up on a couple things, and then also just catch up on some shows just to relax a little bit until dinner because I do have dinner plans. I have some friends that live here in Zurich, so I have a good friend of mine who lives here in Zurich uh, with his girlfriend, and I've never met his girlfriend, so he had moved to Zurich to live with her here, and I've never met her, so tonight is the night. I'm taking them out to dinner, my treat, to get to meet her. I'm really thrilled to meet her. I think she's, I mean, like everything I've heard about her, she's so lovely, so I'm really excited to get to meet her, and I hope they like the restaurant that I chose for tonight. I'll take you guys with me there. It's called Ghoul, but I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. It's like a Turkish type of restaurant here in Zurich. It looks fantastic. All the reviews and ratings are great. Um, one thing I do want to complain about while I have you here is, wow, Zurich is expensive. Like, <laughs> outrageous. Outrageous. If you think Paris and London are expensive, then you have got another thing coming when you come to Zurich. It's really expensive. It's outrageous how expensive it is here. 
and because it's a Sunday, everything is closed. So I couldn't really do much of anything while I was walking around, which was a bummer. I need to go to the pharmacy because I just need to straighten up this nail that chipped and broke while I was in the train. And I can't because all the pharmacies are closed because it's Sunday, classic. So yeah, let's enjoy this rainy Zurich day together. And we have a very, 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 very exciting Rolex unboxing to do in the morning. guys good morning welcome back to zurich so now it's finally time for us to do the big rolex unboxing so really quick funny story to tell you i had asked rolex uh the rolex boutique in zurich if they could gift wrap the rolex for me so that the you know the unboxing would be kind of fun rather than just picking it up in the green box and they were like yeah absolutely like we're out of the white gift wrap is it okay if we gift wrap it in some other paper and i was like yeah no problem look at the paper <laughs> it was gift wrapping it's really cute you know like i appreciate that they did this and sorry i broke one of my nails but it's just really funny you would definitely think this is like a gift to go under the christmas tree for like a, a young teenage girl or something like a tween not even a teenager um like your niece or something not a rolex or no there's any there's no sound basically but uh let's go ahead and open this bad boy here we go all right Pink ribbon off oh no this is tied on very tightly i feel like <gasps> i got it no cause for panic all right here we go okay okay oh my god do you see this what a beautiful embossing what a gorgeous box the gift wrapping is off we've got this gorgeous embossed box now let's open it this is my first ever relax it's my first big girl watch i feel like i'm transitioning into womanhood ah, that is so crazy beautiful look at that beautiful box a beautiful green and then on the back on the back here we've got the rolex the model it is a date just beautiful are you ready here we go big moment oh my god it's so beautiful i'm so thrilled and i'm so glad we get to enjoy this moment together i mean how special is this First ever Rolex, and I get to share that moment with you guys. What a beautiful watch. This has been on my wish list for quite a long time. Let's put the watch on. I already had them take some links off, um, just so you know. So I already had a couple links removed, um, and now it's just a matter of putting it on my wrist. All right, here it is on. It looks so pretty. This is 36. Um, I was a little bit worried at first when they called me because I wanted a 34 that 36 might be too big But I actually think it looks quite nice Don't you think like it looks quite it goes it's just maybe one link too tight like it fits very snug um, I think it's just one link too tight. So I'm gonna go back to the store and just have them put one link back for me It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's so gorgeous. I mean I'm so thrilled I love it so much. I think it is just outstanding. I can't believe <laughs> it's on my wrist. It's so pretty. It's so cool. I feel like an adult. Oh, it's amazing. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this journey across Zurich to do all this. It's actually a really beautiful sunny day now, probably because 
I got my Rolex. So I'm going to just head down to the Rolex boutique to have the link added on and then have some breakfast along the way. So the next time we see each other, I'll be wearing a properly fitted Rolex, which is so exciting to be able to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed joining me on this little Rolex journey and I hope maybe we have some more watches in the future together. Thank you so, so much as always for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait for us to talk again. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.